Gavin here. Last episode, last post from Salt Lake City. Or maybe the last post. Anyway, last of my two full days here in Salt Lake. And it's been incredible. It's been a really amazing experience with the team. Today I led a two hour, hour and a half long, 90 minute long workshop on belonging and how do you foster a culture of belonging, which is particularly important for this group because they're building enterprise software. They're building software that is trying to encourage belonging and community and culture for the largest companies in the world. So it's important to start, start small, start messy, but we had that workshop today and I think it went really well. People were really excited by it, really pleased. Had some leadership meetings, sat down with the, the leadership team of the company. Uh, always humans. Building an organization is, is all about humans and developing better work environments for those people. So that's what we're working on. Now I am wandering around Salt Lake. I'm sure getting strange looks from people in the background as I'm going across the crosswalk, exploring Salt Lake City just a little bit more. Main Street here in Salt Lake City, what's been described to me as the Soma of San Francisco, south of Market District, the hip district of San Francisco and where a lot of startups take place. And this is very much the A hub of tech innovation in Salt Lake City as well. topic that I've been giving a lot of thought to lately is and something that I've been advising client companies about a lot lately as well. It's, it's really, it's an important piece that I don't think gets talked about enough for leaders of a company, for people who want to, for people who are responsible for leading a company. And that's the important, that's the importance of one-on-ones, on having personal touch bases with every person within a company. And I don't care if that's a three-person company or a 300-person company. I believe that the role of a leader is to get to know each person in the company personally, to know what makes them tick, to know why they're there, and to support them in that growth. So as I've been advising a lot of companies lately, it's a, it's a deficit that I see. It's a, something that I see a lot of leaders of companies not doing, is spending that five minutes a month or 15 minutes a month to get to know each individual person and what makes them tick. It's a fundamentally important job. And what makes them tick today might be money and then they fall in love and they have some different interest and it's really important. When I was running Robin's Cafe and I had 15 employees, I can meet with 15 people over the course of a day or two days and you know, not everyone's in all the time, not everyone was full time, but that was, and I didn't always do it perfectly, but that was my biggest contribution in some ways. Sure, I built the systems and sure, I set up how we behave with customers and all of the different things that make a cafe tick. But by nurturing, and I could have done it more, but by nurturing the personal development of each individual person on my cafe staff, I built a much stronger staff, which then went and supported and created much better service to our customers and much more loyalty for our customers. It's not something I see leaders doing. Leaders start because they, I mean, everyone starts a company for a different reason, but a lot of people that I'm meeting lately start a company because they have a mission that they're trying to execute against. They're trying, they, they have that purpose, and that purpose is to provide incredible service to customers or great avocado toast or transform the face of education. It's not, most people don't start companies because they want to nurture the development of their employees, but that's what's required. And companies are going to succeed or fail based on their employees. So it's a really tactical piece of advice. It's really one straightforward thing, but I think that almost everyone I've ever met who's running a company could do it more, and not a lot of people are doing it enough, which is go for a walk or sit down and have a meeting for 15 minutes once a month with every single person on your team, on your staff. Get to know them personally, get to know what makes them tick, what makes them work. And as you support them, you're gonna be better able to build a company that is serving the bottom line needs of the company, supporting your customers, selling more of your widgets, doing whatever it is that your company and your organization does. 
Dedicate more time to your people and you're going to succeed. You're more likely to do more with less if your people are happy and seen because people want to be seen. One-on-ones, it's a key. And it's, it's a really easy thing that you're going to get a lot of credit for and not a lot of people do enough. So do it more. Sit down one-on-one -on -one with your employees.